Hey everybody, this is John Barton, JB Cases. Um, this is our weekly showcase for the week of Monday, October 14th. Let's jump right in. All right, first case we've got here is a uh, three by six. This is a black um, case with some brown diamond inlays. So we have a diamond inlay on the top pocket and then we have double diamonds on the bottom. I'm assuming this is made to match a person's cue perhaps. We have leather handles. This is also what we call a dynamite rugged, so you'll notice it's got a longer pocket here and a longer pocket here and also taller pockets. Um, this has leather handles and one single strap on the back, so you guys can see that. Very pretty. And then just a real simple embroidery in there. Look at that embroidery. Oh, I can't get it to focus. All right, give me one moment. I'm going to try to clean this lens off here. Okay, so we have here, there we go, now it's a little better. Beautiful diamond inlays right there. And let's see what we look like on the inside here. It's also got brown stitching. There you go, very pretty. All right, next one I have here is, I have a case for Regina Robinson. There you go. There we go, we got to focus in. This is uh, Asian Zing style with uh, beautiful silk brocade pockets here, double backpack straps, taller lid with uh, her name embroidered on it, and let's see what kind of uh, interior we have. We have a three by six interior, in classic red, with a magnetic pocket in the lid. So we have a magnetic storage pocket, there you go, in the lid, very cool. and that'll help her uh, have a space for all of her goodies in there. Okay, next one we have here is a really uh, really cool case. This one is, um, this one is a San Francisco's fan and the whole pocket is embroidered. Look at the level of embroidery on that pocket. Look how fine that is. We did? How much would that cost? $150. So $150. Now that's a super fan right there, folks. That's embroidery everywhere. Right. And I like the way that you guys did the outline on the embroidery here on the top pocket, too. That's a wheel fan design? Okay, folks. That's <laughs> What'd you say? You hate Will? <laughs> Will, she hates your design. You're too good, buddy. Look how cool that, look how cool that is. Tech Sergeant, retired United States Air Force. But I like the way, I like that the, uh, I like the outline on there where it's a broken line. It's not, not just a, not just a solid line. That looks pretty cool. All right. And this one is three butt six shafts. Is this one also longer? Which one of them was longer? Is it this one? One of these is... Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. I'll okay, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Somewhat, someone, something on the other side. Right. Yeah, super long. right. All right. The next one we have here is a black and white 2 by 3 There you go. From Martin. Very pretty. With backpack straps. Black with white pocket sides and white stitching. Towel ring. And no top handle. There you go, two butts, three shafts. Looks really cool. Alright, just set that there right there for the moment. Okay, now here's a case that's super custom. This one is a, a four by eight uh, dynamite rugged style with a stacked pocket. So check this out. So we got a really cool embroidery on here for the decoration part. 
Shut up and shoot. <laughs> I love it. And uh, got the fiery flaming eight ball on there. Then on top, we got JB cases. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. This one is for Joey Thomas. And check it out. We got stacked pockets. So we got one long pocket here. Comes all the way around with a um, pocket tray inside. So this tray is, has uh, Velcro pieces. You can put whatever you want in there, uh, arrange it any way you want. And then we have another pocket on top. And then this pocket, this pocket has a double space for a uh, jump cue. See if you guys can see that. That's for a jump cue uh, and an extension or whatever you want to put in there really. And this is also Velcro, so you can move it wherever you want in the pocket. And then uh, let's see, we have anything in the top pocket. We have a big pocket with, um, with lots of space. All right, then let's see, we have inside, we have a taller lid with a holder for stuff. What do we call this anyway? Just a magnetic storage. Magnetic storage? <laughs> okay, magnetic storage thingy, okay. I call it more stuff place. Mine is less technical. All right. Uh, You guys want to hear something funny? You want to hear something funny? Sadie? So, back when I had InStroke, I started InStroke cases while I was in Germany. Mm -hmm. In German. So, when I started to come to the United States, um, I would talk about the cases in English, but I would be at a loss for words for the technical terms for parts of the cases because I, I had only talked about them and dialogued about them in German. And people would say to me, they would say, wow, your English is pretty good. <laughs> you know, where did you learn English? And I'd have to say, well, well in high school in Oklahoma. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So anyway, this is a three by six um, for uh, Mr. D. Lewis or Miss D. Lewis. I don't know which one that is. And then we have the traditional uh, kind of cool nine ball rack on there, that floating nine ball that was made popular by... Um, Winning garb back in the day. It's classic now. Three butt, six shafts with backpack straps and uh, white zipper pulls and white stitching. Very cool. All right, then we have here, we have a four by eight that is a hybrid. So this is everything but the body on here and the strap is leather. So you see a really cool piece on here. This is an alligator print, but a really nice piece of leather. And there you go. And then um, this one has a navy blue interior, four butts, eight shafts. By the way, folks, on these on these right here, on the leather ones, we have a, uh, because of the way the leather is and everything, we, we actually make them a little bit different than we do with the nylon. So this is a sliding um, shoulder pad. But the way we do it is, to keep it in place, is we actually have a snap right here. So you just line the snap up like this, snap it together, and this is what it looks like. So it'll stay in place. But if you do want it to move anywhere else, you can just take the snap off and move it as you, uh, as you feel like it. So pretty cool. All right. So here's an obvious truth with everybody. Uh, you will never hear me say anything but pretty cool about our cases because, uh, well, they all are. And um, why would I say anything different? <laughs> all right, so this is a two by five, three by four right here in gray and black or gray with black uh, accents, gray stitching, gray pipe or black piping. Um, so it's mostly gray with black piping and a black interior for two, by, two butts, five shafts or three butts and four shafts. All right, next one I have here is a one by two 
with a big old towel ring on it. So one by two, very cute case with two pockets, all black, with a center zipper. Center zipper makes it easy to open up and see everything that's in the pocket right there. And then we have a complete wraparound zipper here, but as you can see, just a nice, very cute case. And uh, this one also has a slightly different uh, construction method on the on the shoulder pad, as you can see there. It's also sliding, but it's got more uh, more purchase on there. Not really sure why we did it that way. Why did we do it that way instead of the regular way? Shoulder strap. Make it smaller. Oh, okay. Alrighty, the next one we have here is a 4x8. Okay, this one is super long. Like super, super long. Um, I don't even know, this one's like, this one's like up, to, uh, up to my hip here. Alright. This one is long, big pockets, uh, taller pockets. We have a big pocket tray in here with, a, with an extra jump sleeve, jump handle sleeve in there, padded sleeve, and I guess we are delivering this with a extra, extra ball holding piece and we have um, a magnetic storage in the lid. Which looks like that. And then uh, the customer can take that out if they want. They can put in the ball holder piece. Now, this case here is very long. Um, do we have extensions in here for this? Or uh, spacers? Did the gentleman order spacers? Is the interior made any differently? It's a. Uh, 2468. But I'm just wondering if anybody talked to him about spacers because uh, I don't know if he's going to. This is like super long. Anyway, we'll talk to the customer about it, but we have spacers that you can put in here. So if you have cues of different heights, uh, you can get them to the point where they're easy to get to. Um, and I think that uh, if he didn't order them, we are going to make him aware of it. And uh, he may already be aware of it and not need them. I don't know. But uh, this case, uh, in comparison, so you guys can get an idea about how long it is, that's how much longer the case is. Well, let's ask him anyway, just in case, OK? I would feel, I would feel better if we did. Just give him one more shot, all right? Okay, um, this is a 4x8 black with uh, neon green. And that is for uh, DP. And let's see what color interior. We have a blue interior. There you go, 4x8 blue interior. All right, last case today is... Okay, yeah, this one is for uh, Brandon Schilling. That's a young, a young man that we, uh, we decided to sponsor a little bit. So he, uh, his case says, sponsored by Jesus. JV case is on top, and then we have uh, Schilling Excavation, which is uh, their company. And Philippians 4.13, which I don't know what that means, but I do know what the little fish symbol means, so pretty cool. Very nice colors on the case. And let's see what we have for an interior. We have an orange interior. And then we also have it laser engraved there. It says made for Brandon Chilling. So thank you, Brandon. We appreciate it. And uh, good luck in your pool journey there. And we're glad to have you on board. And folks, uh, that'll do it for today. So remember, if you don't want to build it yourself, just go to uh, JV Cases right down here and um, look at our designer, design to your heart's content, and then we will be happy to uh, we will be happy to build the case for you exactly as you want it, and um, make sure you get a lifetime case 
with a lifetime warranty and a lifetime of protection. So you guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.